and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be talking about the Madden market. Now, guys, there will be a market crash coming up pretty soon now it could be anywhere within 10 to 15 days now i'll explain exactly why this is coming kind of what's going to culminate to it and pretty much where i'm coming from with this because this pretty much happens around this time every year well when golden tickets are around specifically not to mention we also have the free agency promo and potentially the path of the draft promo as well now guys the crash may not apply to the new the new players but the older players like the 97s the 98s the nitro lanes these guys these will be coming down i'll go over just uh why just a second but guys, before we get into the video and go over everything, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, come join the family, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, and comment down below if you have any questions. Now, let's head over to the auction block so I can review prices while going over this. So guys, starting with the higher overalls. Once again, Nitro Lane will be impacted, but Holmes and Lamar will be unaffected as per usual until a new series because Mahomes... I don't even know if he's pullable out of packs except for that set. And Lamar is not even pullable anymore. So until he has a series redux, don't bother with these guys. They will come down in value, but they won't crash entirely. Now, Nitro Lane, he's based off other cards, so he will be coming down. Now, why is this? First reason, I'm going to start with I'm gonna start one of the big reasons. We have golden tickets coming. Now, you might wonder, how do 99 golden tickets affect these? First off, the 99 golden tickets. Everyone's going to want them. So people are going to be selling a lot of cards in order to save to get coins to buy these cards. Why? Because the same thing I've been telling you guys all year, as soon as better cards come out than these cards, these cards will come down a little bit because right now they're being held up purely by the fact that they are the best card at their positions. And as soon as 99s come out, they'll one for them. Now, as I mentioned, golden tickets like the new flash kit on the block. Everyone wants that. Everyone wants a part of it. It's the new iPhone. So people are going to get dumb and start selling things they don't need to sell. They're gonna start getting extra coins. They're gonna start opening packs just to be able to go ahead and get these players. So th that is when like people who are, like, had 98 Nitro Lane, they drop a 99 uh, Jalen Ramsey golden ticket. I need that. So you sell your Nitro Lane quickly. Everyone starts selling their Nitro Lanes. 750, 680. Starts going down in price pretty rapidly. Everyone's taking losses just to build up their coins, stacking up to get the new golden ticket, selling three pieces of the team. I've been a part of it. Not to mention, guys, this is the part of the year. Well, people start to care a little less. So that guy that quit in November or that quit in December with like 2 million coins comes back and like, whoa. Or that guy that quits in November with a full team. He has a pretty good, he's a pretty decent team. Could probably sell it back for like 500K, 600K. And he's like, oh my God, golden tickets. I want to try them. He comes back. He sells all of his team for like a quarter of their value at this point and buys the one golden ticket card. That is a common thing that happens around this time period. Or people come back. They haven't played since January or February. And they're like, I'm going to quit. They have a million coins. I'm going to spend it all in packs. Pull a gold ticket. So they start spending in packs. And by spending in packs, they start a lot of things start getting pulled rapidly, which means a lot of selling onto the market, which means a lot of prices, uh, the higher supply, the low, uh, higher supply with the same demand. So the prices inevitably go down. Now, guys, if you don't know this, you haven't played long enough. Tell me you haven't done this before. You quit Madden or any sports game. You quit Madden, 2K, FIFA. And literally like a month or two later, some really cool stuff comes like Team of the Year or Ultimate Legends or something. And you're like, huh. I'm not going to play anymore. I'll just spend all my coins. You come back, you spend all your coins. You buy a bunch of packs. You spend a stupid league. I don't need that anymore. I don't care about that game. Let me have fun. And then like a month or two after that, you come back like, damn, I wish I still had all my coins and stuff. Everyone does it. And that influx of cards, influx of people coming on will spur the market again, get things moving for a few days. And that is kind of what's going to be coming as far as the golden tickets. And like I said, just the increase in packs. People are going to be spending a lot of coins on packs. And the golden ticket prices might actually be higher because of that, because people are going to be spending plenty on packs. They're going to be buying coins. They're going to be selling the teams to buy these golden tickets. So initially, they might be pretty expensive. But in the long run, I think overall, it will just end up decreasing a lot of the lower places. And it will, it will decrease a lot of the lower guys in general. And by lower guys, I mean the 96, 97s, especially because they're 99s. So if they drop like 99 halfback that blows away Saquon on all these guys, they're going to start coming down. People are going to start coming down per position. Now, the golden tickets, like I said, I don't think they're going to be bringing them down because there's only going to be one of them. They're going to be pretty rare. One, There's only five and the five. So maybe one per position. But what I'm more concerned about is the amount of packs being bought and the amount of people spending money on the block and starting to sell their teams off for things for super cheap. So I think that's a great time to actually start buying stuff. Now, even more so is the free agency promo coming. With the new promo coming, guys, free agency should start introducing some 98s, 97s, more, more than not. Which, if they introduce some 98s, as soon as we get introduced to common 98s, like 98s that are commonly in the game, not just like as a one-time night train lane, as soon as we start getting introduced to those guys, the 96 market is going to crash, and the 97 market will start to lower a bit. Now, 
the real thing beyond that free agency, we don't know if the Masters will be 99. I don't think they will be. I think they'll be 98. And then we might get maybe an LTD free agency guy, which would be super cool. Or, which we did last year, we got like the Landon Collins, we got the Anthony uh, Anthony Barr, right? We got a few guys, so we could get some LTDs that could be 98s like they were last year. Now, that would bring them down as a whole. And like I said, that mainly affect, I think, this marker right here. Ultimate Legend would come down a little bit because these guys are only being held up by being because these guys are the common, right? So we guys, we all know when it comes to quality tiers, typically this tier, which is always like the tier above is always like that tier of rarity. Like you can't really afford them. Only certain people can have these cards. They're not worth their price. Let's just say. Then there's like this tier. This tier is like the common man's tier. Like this is a tier where like you, you look around, you build it. These are the more, these are the practical players. These are the practical guys to get. And the other guys like one or two additions that's like all year when you know when we were at the 90s 92s were above 98s are above then we're gonna get to a point which imagine which we're almost at where everything is common tier which when that happens is when price prices start to die and this is the final tier in the game 98 99 so once we get free agency that should introduce us to some 98s which will make 98 half of that a common tier and then going into path to the draft which we had a ton of 99s during the path to the draft which i don't know if they'll do but that's that's another thing that can increase the market crash will be path to the draft i believe starts at the end of march so like same time golden tickets drops. We're gonna have golden free agency, golden tickets dropping, and path to the draft. Path to the draft was full of 99s last year. I don't know if they'll do that again. But again, if that if they, if they just drop a bunch of 98s with like 199 master, we're gonna slowly start getting there. And then by mid mid early April, we're gonna have 99s at like probably common tier. And once 99s are common tier, that's kind of the end of um crazy prices. For the most part, like these guys will all be down to like 300. So if, once we get if 99 once 99s are common tiers, next channel will be like 300k. Mahomes will be like 500k, Lamar will be like 500k. And that's pretty much what's gonna happen at that point, and you'll just keep decreasing from there. But like I said, so to pretty much recap everything, golden tickets, people are gonna come back, they're gonna be selling all their cards back off, they're gonna be selling things for super cheap, they're gonna be sending an influx of cards to the market that we don't currently have anymore, which is probably part of that's part of the problem with the prices right now, as well as gonna be we're gonna be opening packs, crazy selling their teams, like I said. And that will just increase to that. And then moving on to the free agency and path to the draft. That is where we have the biggest potential for an influx of cards. Now, like I said, golden tickets will, they will drop the high cards and cause people to do stupid stuff below in the lower tiers. Now the free agency path to the draft is really what's going to keep prices low, like permanently, because they're going to be dropping a lot of 97s, hopefully some 98s. And if we're lucky at 99 or so, which should in all in all decrease the, the whole market in general, which I'm actually super excited for because I do plan to sell my binder pretty soon before all this happens. Gonna get my coins up to at least a few, at least over a few million, because I do have tons of things to sell. I have two Mahomes, that's 500 k right there. Get it to like maybe two to three million, and then from there, gonna go on a crazy spending spree where I jack my team out, or gonna just start doing series with it. I haven't decided yet, but I'm looking forward to this crash because there's so much you can do with that. Like I said, this is where people who have saved their coins a little bit can, you know, if you have some coins sitting there and you don't know what to buy, wait for that. You could that's this one you could jack your team out to all 99s. Remember, you don't need the new 99s. Just get like Night Train Lanes and Mahomes and Lamars and just power them up and come up. They'll be 99s too. Great value, same overall. End of the day. Can the other ones be a little bit better? Possibly, but you save a lot of coins that way. That's kind of my plan here. That's what I intend to do. Hopefully, I stick I stick through with it. And hopefully, you know, it comes in, in due time. Path to the drive, like I said, late March going into April. So last year we got like Keyshawn Johnson. I believe we got we got so many players. Tom Brady is a late round master. We end up getting, and then we get the picks too, like Kyler Murray pick one. We get all these guys. We got Daniel Jones. We got Dwayne Haskins. You know, but that's for the draft. Path to the draft is gonna be like the players who were players who were drafted formally, and then the draft part itself, part of the draft, will be path to the draft, like part two, which will be the players actually drafted. So there's gonna be a ton of stuff coming. That's like 32 players right there. Only I think the first one's a 99 though, which was Kyler Murray. The other one's like 98, 97, 96, 95, 94. And they worked their way down. I don't know. It might have ended at 95. I don't exactly remember. But gonna be super fun, guys. Hopefully you guys are ready for the market crash. Like I said, as we get closer to things, maybe sell some stuff off because there's no way in hell that all these promos and everything actually increase prices. Like things have increased prices before. But it's gonna be hard. At minimum, they stay slightly the same or they just crash entirely because there's no way it's gonna be any, there's no way it's gonna go up. We're gonna find because the reason that things have went up is because they drop a theme diamond promo. Players stay around the same overall, 96, 97s. They actually need players to build like Night Train Lane from lower stuff. Lower stuff goes up. You can exchange players in the combat promo. Stuff goes up because they haven't given us newer overalls. But guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video, guys. To recap, remember golden tickets coming for agency coming and pass the draft to pretty much recaps the entire video right there if you have to go back and rewatch anything feel free to 
Don't want to keep this video any longer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to check out today's golden ticket video as well. Going over who I want, recapping last night's solos, and recapping the server crash. Hope you guys about it. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys need any help with anything. Go follow me over on Twitter. Make sure to give this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.